My name is Natalia Duque Cicceri, and I'm the head of Global Sustainability Services at Product Service Division at TIFSUIT. Sustainability and circular economy are interlinked megatrends. Products need to become more sustainable. And to ensure this, one needs to look very closely, like with a magnifying glass. So our program covers the entire circular economy of a product. Starting from raw materials, how do you mitigate the risk of substances of concern? Going through the product uh, production, how do you verify that your supplier is actually uh, sourcing from the so-called green energy? Then if we move into the product use, how do you verify the product durability? At the end of the life, if, if you are claiming that your product is recyclable, how do you make sure that that product is actually recyclable in the place, the location where it was thrown away? The main problem to avoid is the greenwashing of these claims. And that in some years, these claims are probably either not true, double counted, or not permanent. And for instance, our greenhouse gas emissions are still on the rise. Tubsuit can be the right for I partner to technically and independently substantiate all of these product sustainability claims. In the area of uh, textiles, recycled polyester is widely used. Recycled polyester usually comes from PET bottles. Tufsuit has developed a technical method to identify the amount of recycled content that there is in clothing. In this method, we analyze the isotalic acid content in the product which is claimed to be manufactured from recycled PET bottles. It is based under the assumption that polyester derived from this recycled PET bottle has this isotelic acid, which is the marker compound for PET manufacturing. We developed this method in our lab in India. It demonstrates that Tufsuit is capable to respond to industry requirements even when there are not methods or standards available yet.